Hello, good afternoon. Welcome to our channel once again. My name is Bimbo. For those of you who are just meeting us for the first time, Jackpot with your Days is a channel where you can get relevant information on how you can jackpot to Portugal, to Austria, and other beautiful European countries where we believe that you are going to have a beautiful relocation experience. And before we go ahead to today's business, Thank you very, very much, 500 subscribers. It's really an honor. We really, really appreciate you. Thank you very much. So today, what do we want to talk about? Uh, from the beginning of this channel, we promise you that uh, we'll be bringing uh, information and opportunities on how to jackpot to Portugal, including the lifestyle on how you'll be able to integrate in Portugal, among other things that entails or that lifestyle entails. Now, what we want to talk about today is uh, the basic Portuguese words that you need to learn before coming to Portugal or while you're preparing to come into Portugal. Some of the basic words that you need to learn. So that is what we'll be talking about today. And uh, like I usually say, that uh, the, the, Portuguese, the learning of the Portuguese language is a little bit difficult if you, I mean, especially for people of our age, where we have a lot of things that we're thinking about is a little bit difficult, but not entirely, you know, difficult, especially if you devote your mind to it. So, and integrating into Portugal require that you understand that language. So, especially if you're just coming in, you will want to go to some um, government agency in this place to, you know, communicate. You want to go to mall, you want to go buy things, you want to go to uh, have co coffee, you will be invited to dinner and a host of other things that uh, you will uh, you will engage in when you come into Portugal. So you need to learn how to communicate, uh, how to com uh, communicate these words to people. So it is very, it is very very important. Which is why um, I will not be the one uh, 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 presenting this uh, basic Portuguese word because I don't really have the accent yet. And uh, sometimes I find myself saying "fala English, fala English," meaning "do you speak English a lot?" Because especially when I'm struggling to communicate to those people, so I don't have the accent yet to be able to, you know, uh, present these words to you. And I really, really want you to be able to learn these basic words entirely from somebody that is almost regarded as a native Portuguese speaker. Luckily, he's also a Nigerian. His name is Muna. And in fact, when you get into Portugal, you will need to have a Muna in your life. You know why? Because when you want to go to some of those agencies to do capturing for your residence permit or to, you know, invite your family in or to do anything that, requ that requires that you go to the agency, some of those people there that works with the Portuguese agency, they are from 50 to 60 years above and they don't understand English. So it is very important that you go with somebody that is very fluent. If not, they will just, you know, bounce you on one side. Because if communication is uh, is uh, is deterred in terms of uh, how uh, they, they, them speaking with you, you responding back to them, if the communication is a little blurred from... So they don't have that patience. They will just put you on one side. So everybody needs a Muna. Anywhere I'm going to, when I, when I just came in and I need to communicate a whole lot of Portuguese to those people, I don't have that capacity yet. I always go with him. So that is why he will be the one delivering this um, uh, basic Portuguese words for Africans who wants to come into Portugal. So his name is Muna, like I said, but before we bring him on board, don't forget to like and subscribe so that by the time we drop our weekly opportunities and informations like this that will help your jackpot plan, you will be the first to get notification, like and subscribe. Also share to your friends. This will really, really help a whole lot of uh, a whole lot of your friends that are planning to jackpot to Portugal as well. Thank you very much. So let's have him now. Welcome back again to this channel. Today we are going to talk about the basic sentences or the basic knowledge in Portuguese. If you are an African or a foreigner and you are coming to Portugal, you need to know this. You need to have this basic knowledge of Portuguese that at least you can communicate and say one or two things with people in Portugal. Okay, so let's go. You know, for example, in the beginning, if you uh, the first thing you have to know is to say good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. So in in Portugal, if you wake up in the morning, you come outside and you want to say good morning, you have to say bon dia, bon dia, bon dia. Remember that the M is is not pronounced like M in English; it's pronounced as more or less N, bon dia. And you want to say good afternoon. 
Boa tarde. Boa tarde. Boa tarde. And you want to say good night. Or good evening. Boa noite. Boa noite. Okay? So, and you want to say, uh, are you good? Or are you okay? You can say, uh, you can say, estás tudo bem? Or está tudo bem? Or como estás? Okay? Estás tudo bem? Como estás? Okay? Uh, then you want to then in the in the in the in the scenario where you meet someone and you want to ask what is your name, which is normal you can uh, you are going to meet people on day to day basis and you're going to ask someone what is your name. So you can say como se chama. It means literally in English what are you called, or uh, what are you called, or, uh, or how are you called, how are you called in English? Okay, if you translate it literally in English, but in Portuguese it means what is your name, como se chama. Oh, you can say, qual é a tua nome? Qual é a tua nome? What is your name? Qual é a tua nome? Qual é a tua nome? Okay. Um, then you can, uh, of course, you have to respond that, like, you have to say your name. Eh? When someone asks, uh, como te chamas? Or como se chama? Or qual é a tua nome? Uh, any of them. Okay. You have to respond and you have to say, uh, my name is. You can say, meu nome é Bimbo. Okay. You can say meu nome é Bimbo or chamo me Bimbo, chamo me Bimbo, okay? And uh, and okay, and someone can ask you uh, what are you called? Uh, what is your profession? Okay? Qual é a tua profissão? What is your profession? Okay. Imagine if you're having a conversation with someone and they ask you what is your profession? Okay? Qual é a tua profissão? Okay? Okay, then uh, what are you going to reply? You can say, Eu sou engenheiro, I'm an engineer, or Eu sou doctor, I'm a doctor. Okay, and uh, they, uh, you can, someone can ask you, this is normal, this is something that you will definitely encounter in, in, in any country you are, you are in, okay, especially in Portugal. Definitely, someone is going to ask you, where are you from? Which country are you from? Okay. What are you going to answer when they ask you that? Okay, you want to say, uh, the question will come like this, will come like this. Qual é a tua nationalidade? What is your nationality? Qual é a tua nationalidade? Okay? Or, tu és de onde? Where are you from? Or, você é de onde? Okay? And, uh, what are you going to reply? You can say, eu sou the Nigeria. Eu sou da Nigeria. If you are from Nigeria, you can say I'm from Nigeria. If you are from Brazil, you can say Eu sou de Brazil. Or you can say it like this. Eu sou Nigeriano. I am Nigerian. Eu sou Americano. I am American. Eu sou Brasileiro. I am Brazilian. If you are a woman, you cannot say that because a woman, you have to always put A at the, or A at the end of your uh, of any word you have to pronounce, you have to say, okay? So, for a woman, you can say, Eu sou Nigeriana, not Nigeriano. Or, Eu sou Brasileira. Or, Eu sou Americana, not Americano. Okay? So, uh, if you want to ask someone, or you, now you want to ask someone, where are you from? You can say to someone, Tu és de onde? É de Brasil? É de Nigeria? Are you from Nigeria? É de Nigeria? Okay? Are you from uh, United States? Estados Unidos. Estados Unidos. Okay. And now, let's go to in, in a situation where you want to buy something in the supermarket. All right. And uh, you 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 go to the supermarket and you want to buy something and you, for example, let's use bread. For an example, you say I want to buy a bread. I want to buy a bread. Okay. I want to buy a bread. So how would you say this in Portuguese? You say, Eu quero um pão. Eu quero um pão. I want a bread. Eu quero um pão. Okay? And um, imagine if you don't know the price of the bread. Okay? And you want to ask, what is the price? You can say, quanto custa? Quanto custa? Okay? Quanto custa? How much is that? Or qual é o preço? What is the price? Qual é o preço? 
Okay, now let's go to, uh, let's talk a little bit about school because this, most people come in uh, Portugal to study, okay? So if you're going to school, someone can ask you, um, where are you going to? What are you doing? Where are you going to? So you can say, what are you going to? Like they ask you on the device or you can reply, I am going to school. You can say, I am going to school means, or, Eu vou para a escola. I'm going to school. Okay? And if you're coming back from school and they ask you, where are you coming from? You can simply reply and say, Estou a voltar da escola. Estou a voltar. Voltar is to come, coming back. To come back. To return. So, estou a voltar da escola. Okay? And uh, if you're going to the market and someone asks you, where are you going to? Okay? You can say, you can simply say, Estou a ir ao mercado. Pay attention to the first one I say, Estou a ir à escola. And the second one, Estou a ir ao, ao mercado. The first one is E, and the second one is EO, together. E -O. So E is because escola ends with A. So you have to say, you have to use the article E. Then the second one is AO, because mercado ends with O. So it is always that way. Yeah. 99% that formula. So, estou a ir à escola. Estou a ir ao mercado. All right? Okay. So, and um, and if you are, you are in a situation where you have to say to someone, one moment, please. One moment, please. You can say, um momento, por favor. Um momento, por favor. Okay? So, and at the end, you have to apologize to someone to say, I am sorry. You can say, desculpa me. Desculpa me, or discope, or lamento. Lamento is more when you you're writing, or you can say uh, sing to me, sing to me. Okay, uh, like so. Now let's go to when you want to make excuses, like uh, you always do. You can say excuse me, or uh, in a situation where you want to go up, uh, ahead of someone, or you want to get past someone, and you have to say excuse me. You can say discope. Or complicenza. And complicenza is more official, okay? Desculpa is something that you, uh, you meet every time on the streets. People say, ah, desculpa, 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 desculpa. It means I'm sorry also. Uh, but you can also say complicenza, but complicenza is too long, so people always prefer to say desculpa, okay? And for us, the guys that likes to make moves on the, on the girls, you know, you, have, you want to show them you are a fine boy, you want to make a move on the ladies. I'm going to tell you what to say when you see someone that is beautiful and you want to say, ah, you are beautiful, you want to shoot your, your shot, all right? So you can say, tu es bonita, you are beautiful, you are beautiful, tu es bonita, okay? Or tu es linda, tu es linda, tu es linda, okay? Then if you are a girl and you also want to shoot your shot on a boy, why not? If not, you can say, tu es bonito, not bonita, bonita is for a woman. Because it ends with A, then you say, Tu es bonito, or Tu es lindo, like me, who's so bonito. I am handsome. All right? Okay? And now let's go about food for people, for foodies and people who like food. Okay? You can say, you can, uh, uh, if you eat a food and you want, if you eat someone's food, or maybe in a restaurant or in someone's house, and you say, Oh, I like this food, how would you say that? Eu gosto da comida. I like the food. You wash the comida. So if you go to the restaurant and they give you something to eat and you like it and you want to uh, give them a feedback, a beautiful feedback, a nice feedback, so that you can uh, uh, commend or say something nice to them, you can say, Eu gosto da comida. Eu gosto da comida. I like the food. Okay? So, and also, if you, after eating, you are pressed, you want to pee, you want to use, your, you want to use the WC or the toilet or the bathroom, whatever, you can actually ask them, where is the bathroom? Okay. In Portuguese, you can say, Onde fica a casa de banho? Onde fica a casa de banho? Or, Onde está a casa de banho? Onde está a casa de banho? Pay attention that I said, Onde fica a casa de banho? I use a because casa ends with a, a, you know? And de because banho ends with o. If banho ends with a, it, it will be da banho. But not the ban, okay? Casa de ban, all right? Okay, and now, what time is it? 
What time is it? How do you say that? Ki horas sa. If you translate it literally in English, it means what times are. Okay, but you know it is wrong to say that in English. But in Portuguese, it's correct. You can say ki horas sa. It means what time is it? Ki horas sa. Okay. And if you want to drink a coffee, if you are the, one, the type that likes to take coffee, you are in the right place because Portuguese people loves to love to drink coffee. Okay, they love to drink coffee a lot, a lot. So you can say, "Eu quero um café, por favor." I want a coffee, please. I want a coffee, please. Okay, and um, uh, if they give you a coffee, what do you have to say? Thank you. So how do we say thank you in Portuguese? Obrigado. Obrigado. But you cannot say this if you are a woman. If you are a woman, you can say, you have to say obrigada. Not obrigado. So I say obrigado. And you say obrigada as a woman. Okay? And uh, if you say obrigado, and, this, and the person has to reply to you and say, de nada. De nada means you are welcome. Okay? You are welcome. In that sentence, in that con con uh, contest, it means de nada. You are welcome. Although we have another word, you are welcome, that is benvindo. Okay? But in this contest, if they say, oh, you said something is nice, and they say, oh, de nada. It means you're welcome in a different contest. Okay? So, and then you want to say goodbye, see you later. All right? You can say adeus, which is formal, or you can say ciao. Everyone say adeus, ciao. Then, see you later. Até logo. Até logo. Até logo. Ciao. Adeus. Até logo. And that is that for the basic Portuguese language for Africans. These words are very, very important. These are some of the words that you need to learn to be able to integrate fully into Portugal. You know, sometimes I find myself cramming it. But, you know, if you, I, I go to the field to play football, among other things. So it depends on what your hobby are and what you do. So, but from everyday interactions with people, you become very good at these words. You speak it, you, you know, you do all of these things. So it is very, very essential, which is why we thought that it will help your lifestyle. It will help your integrations when you come into Portugal. Don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel if what we've um, brought your way today is very important to you and it has really helped you in one way or the other so click on the like and subscribe to this channel also share it with your friends it will really really help a whole lot of people also follow us on all our social media platforms so that by the time we drop in and informations like this you will be the first to get notification thank you so so much for uh, watching our channel and watching this video today. It's really an honor to have presented or to have brought this our way once again. Bye-bye for now.